Hello everyone. Um, so, just want to come to you guys with um, something that really bothered me on tonight. And on tonight, literally, I it really brought tears to my eyes because I have such a big heart, especially when it comes down to kids, especially the ones that just need guidance and they're hurt. When I see a child hurt, I hurt because um, I can just picture myself as a child growing up when I dealt with a lot of hurt and pain so I can understand what they're going through as a child. But tonight um, at my daughter's dance, um, this little girl, um, she ran out of the dance and my daughter followed her. Her and about three other, three other kids followed the little girl out. So I ran out, you know, to see what was going on. And the little girl, she was just breaking down and um, she went into the bathroom. She was crying. Y'all, she was crying. And um, I seen tears in my daughter's eye because my daughter is very um, passionate as well. When it comes down to just anyone's feelings, she's like, she hurt when they hurt. And I see it a lot. She always want to be there to the rescue to help somebody. Um, and that's a blessing on my behalf. But um, the little girl was crying. And um, she was when she was crying, I had hugged her, and I held her close to myself, and um, I asked her what was wrong with her, and you know she was talking about her and herself, and um, and she was like, um, all the fifth graders was picking on her, you know, picking at her shoes and her hair, and saying that she doesn't have the best clothes on. I mean, they were literally picking on the little girl, and I felt bad because um. When the, the kids went to go tell the parents of the children that was bullying, um, the parents, they didn't even know, had no idea that their child was actually doing that. They was like, wow, I didn't know my child would actually do that. Um, and they was like, we got to talk to them about it. I'm just here to tell you guys that um, we may always think that our kids know it all or we expect them to just be the perfect children when they're not around us and everything but it's very important you guys especially with all the suicides going on the attempted suicides going on with our kids can you hear me with our kids children it's very important that we teach our kids at home, you guys the importance of not bullying don't pick up somebody else because they not um, you know, they, they cannot afford the final things that you go to school with. Don't pick at somebody else because they don't have the most um, expensive pair of shoes or they're not dressed like you or their hair doesn't look like yours. We have to teach our kids the importance and um, the consequences and the aftermath of bullying other kids. That it leads to things like suicide and depression. Yes. Our kids, you guys, go through depression and suicidal thoughts. The little girl was thinking about hurting herself. Do you know how much that hurt me? That hurt me to death. And the little girl, she always um, clean to me when I come to see my daughter at her school every week. You know, all the kids know Miss Victoria and um, all the teachers and the staff know Miss Victoria because I'm always at the school, you know, um, there at my daughter. Um, but the little girl always clean to me. She always come and run and give me a hug. And so she's hurt. She's hurt and you know I had to sit down and tell her how beautiful she was and don't sit and listen to what nobody else to say. I, I I mean I had a long talk with her about being strong, about um ignoring the fact that even throughout the rest of your life you're gonna have people that's gonna talk about you, even when you're doing at your best. But to continue to uh stay focused and stay strong and know who you are, and I kept telling her that she's beautiful uplifting her she looked in my eyes she just said thank you with tears flowing in her eyes you guys it's so important y'all that we teach this stuff at home it's so important that we teach and boost our kids confidence up at home so whenever they do have to endure a bully they stand firm they don't break they don't go up under depression they don't hide it they don't hold it in they don't isolate themselves you know, and um, I just pray this helps somebody out because um, on tonight, I seen on my own eyes and heard my own ears, a child under depression, a child up under depression. She's in fourth grade. So um, you all just talk to your kids and um, teach them the right and wrong um, way to handle this situation um, and just don't bully. All right, you all be blessed.